exercise one. In this exercise, we'll take a look at the foundation technology built into AutoCAD Inventor 2012. We begin with the new part file. Find, go, go up to new, go to standard IPT, and by default it should go to inches. Hit OK. Once the new part begins, it automatically defaults to beginning a sketch on what would be considered the front plane. The planes are listed over on the left-hand side in the Feature Manager. And as you can see here, if you glide over them, you'll see the Y-X is technically like a right side plane. This is a top plane. And the XY is the front plane, which we're currently sketching on. We can also see here we have the manipulator tools to be able to rotate and adjust how we're looking at it. Up at the top here we have all the sketch tools. We'll begin by using the rectangle tool. Go ahead and select rectangle. Glide your pointer up to the center of the screen, that little yellow dot. That's our zero marker in space. Click and drag out the dimensions. As you're dragging them out you can see the horizontal dimension that 0.606 or whatever yours might be is actually in blue meaning that we could go ahead and type in a value. In this case I could go ahead and type in 3, hit enter, and if we zoom out now we could go ahead and I, I could have actually um, clicked in the other box and went ahead and add the dimension but it's okay. I'll just go to the d dimension tool here and click on it and click on that vertical line. Click again drop it and make sure you type in 5. If you need to change a dimension, you just simply click on it and the Edit Dimension tool should appear. And then you can type in the new value, hit the green check mark to apply. To finish the sketch, the right hand corner, you'll just click on the green check mark. At this point, we can now see the three dimensional tools appear. We have Extrude, Revolve, and several other options. The only one we're interested in right now is the Extrude button. This extrudes a volume from the profile that we see. In this case we want a 0.5 parameter. Here we have the quick launch dialogs that appear right in the center. Otherwise we could go ahead and click on inside this dialog box which generally is actually folded up. But if you wanted to see the details you could click on it and you'll see options as far as what direction or if you want a symmetric pull and other options like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, to see this a little bit easier, there are some options under View. Under Visual Style, if you wanted to see it shaded with edges, you could go ahead and select that, and then the edges turn out, out black in this case with the default colors that we've chosen. Otherwise, there are other options as well. There's shadows or no shadows. Depending upon the computer you're using, you might want to disable some of these tools. But you can see they're shaded, realistic, shaded with hidden edges illustration, a lot of different options there to choose from. But we'll go ahead and continue on. Let's go ahead and select this front face. Now you'll see with the quick launch there's edit extrude, there's edit sketch, well the last option is create a sketch and that's what we want to do on this surface. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. We see an outline of the profile and now we could go back to the rectangle tool, select it, glide back up to the lower left hand corner, click and drag it across. You'll see that it will snap and there's a relationship being established of coincident to the edge. And so therefore we don't need to change the three inch dimension. We could actually just hit tab and type in the value that this is supposed to be for the vertical dimension which is 1.5 inches high. At this point we could go ahead and hit finish sketch and then go to if it doesn't automatically go to click on the model ribbon and go back to extrude and make sure 0.5 is set and move your pointer over the profile you wish to move 
click with the left mouse button and make sure the dimension is in place and then it's going in the proper direction. Go ahead and hit the OK button. For the next thing we want to do, we actually want to put a hole in here. So I'm going to select this face and again find the third quick launch which is create sketch. Otherwise you can select up here if there's create sketch and that will allow you to create it as well if you don't see this button. Find the circle tool, click on it, glide to the upper left hand region, make sure you're a little bit away from the edges and click and drag out a circle. Let's go ahead and add dimensions to this. Click on the dimension tool or hit the D key and we'll first give it a diameter. Just click on the outside edge of it, drag it out, click again and make sure it's set to 0.75. For the next dimension, just select the circle again, or the center point, and then select the left edge. Drag it straight up, click again to drop it, and type in 1 for 1 inch. One last dimension is click on the circle and the top edge. Drag it to the left, and make that 1 inch as well. At this time, you could go ahead and hit Finish Sketch, find extrude and this time we want to remove material so you can see there's options here over at, right at below here this is actually to remove material this icon which is called cut and make sure the direction is in the proper direction and instead of distance because we know that it needs to go through why don't we just make sure it's all that means through all and it will cut through now click in the area there. Make sure you select the profile icon, icon here under extrude or over here if you get this make sure it just says select profile. Click in that region of that circle and make sure it's going in the proper direction. You can actually drag it if you wanted to see it Otherwise, just make sure that's set to all and hit OK. Now to rotate, if you hold the shift key and hold down the middle mouse button or the scroll, if you actually hold it down, you'll see you could rotate. Otherwise, you could actually use this box in the upper right hand corner and click on it and drag it around to manipulate it. Or you could click on the text for a front view. Here you could go clockwise or counterclockwise for rotation. Or again, just grab it with the left mouse button. And there is a home up there. If you click on that, it brings you to isometric. And that completes this part. Uh, actually, one last thing. If you wanted to change anything, just remember, as I showed you earlier, you just click on the feature or the surface and you'll get the opportunity to actually go in and edit the extrude. So if I click on that, I could go ahead and type in a new value. Maybe I want that to be 0.75. I can make it thicker. And you can pretty much do that with any surface or face that you see here. Otherwise, go to the feature tree. And if you right click, you'll see there's edit sketch, edit feature options. Don't use edit form. Uh, that's a little bit uh, more advanced. We don't want to touch upon that just yet. And that completes exercise one.